Greetings, got an Atari blurb here for you today. Yeah, this is a little bit different. Got a package from Atari XP. Don't know exactly what the story is behind that brand or sub brand. I mean, Atari is like a million different things these days. Seems like every time I see uh, a story about them, it's <laughs> some questionable decision or some bizarre business venture or re-release or some weird crap. But this seemed pretty darn interesting when I got an email a while back asking if I'd like to, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'll just show it to you. Uh, completely modernized classic Atari 2600 cartridges for three beloved Atari gems, Saboteur, Aquaventure, and Yars Return. Yeah. So uh, it's like if you have an Atari 2600, uh, yes, I do. In fact, I just set it up when I got this email. Then yeah, uh, we will ship it out and uh, get hands on with it. That's it. They didn't give any other stipulations and I've had this sitting here for a few weeks because I didn't have time to get to it. Now I do. Anyway, I'm really curious which one they sent. I think it's AquaVenture, but I don't know. Uh, I don't really know um, much else about this, except that uh, I just thought it was really darn cool that Atari themselves or some company <laughs> using the Atari name in some form, is actually releasing physical Atari 2600 cartridges again. It'd be like Sega coming out and, you know, re-releasing Master System games or something. It, it just, it's weird. Hey, AquaVenture is the one in here. <laughs> Dude, okay. I guess that's it. So, um, yeah, look at this. That is rather lovely. And it is a bit thicker than the Atari 2600 boxes that I have from back in the day. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those unpacked yet. I don't know where <laughs> they are. They're in one of the boxes in storage. But uh, yeah, this uh, game in particular, yeah, I'm happy they sent this one. I'm curious to check it out because this was actually never released back in the day. Aqua Adventure was just a prototype. And uh, yeah, it was going to be an official Atari game, but just never got it put out. Mmm, squeaky plastic. Yeah, Gary Shannon, I guess was the programmer or designer. An undersea cavern holds countless riches, but is guarded by deadly hazards and menacing sea creatures. It sure sounds like an Atari game. Armed with your spear gun, you must secure the treasure and fulfill your destiny. Heck yeah, all right. So, a newly manufactured Atari 2600 cartridge, custom artwork, acrylic top that lights up when being played. What the heck is that? That sounds awesome. Uh, 11 by 17 da, 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 folding poster. That's pretty cool. Instruction manual. Uh, they did say there was a misprint in here, so they're going to send me another manual. I, ha I haven't got that yet. Uh, hard enamel collectible pin. Polyester blend twill woven embroidered collectible patch. That sounds like some uh, Activision crap. That's awesome. Certificate of authenticity, digital copy of the game, playable on the Atari VCS. I guess that is that console thing that they have. I'd be curious to get one of those someday. Just, it's not been something I've ever wanted to really spend money on. Uh, and yeah, there's like a, a number there. So from what I gather, uh, let me bring it up real quick. This Atari XP sub brand, they're not paying me to show this. They just sent this over and said, hey, do you want to look at it? So I'm looking at it because I'm just curious. This is just such a weird business decision to me. I want to say this is done like in conjunction with limited run games. Anyway, yeah, look at that. There's like um, a bunch of numbered versions you can get, like really special edition, high-end ones. I mean, some of these, yeah, like $100 a piece for those with the, the special end piece on there with the numbers and all that. This one is like, is it this one? Is this what they sent? I don't know. There's like so many editions. There's this limited edition one, $150. $50 for the regular one. I guess they sent me this. Good grief. And these appear to be sold out too. Daggone it. I kind of hate showing things that you like you can't buy anymore or whatever. It it sucks. I did not know that. <laughs> these all are sold out, aren't they? What the balls? Except for like these couple of newer ones, Haunted House. Well, anyway, uh, let's open this up and try it out. Because <laughs> I guess you can't um, just go out and get one yourself. Why would they put out such a small run of these? Because like, I know there's not a huge market for Atari collectors, but daggone it, there's... There's a few of us. I haven't actually uh, collected actively for it in a long time though. Kind of got what I wanted in the late 2000s and that was that. Whoa, dude, that is pretty cool. Oh wow, I like that, the Atari logo. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 
a real PCB in there somewhere. Where's the screw at? There's a screw right there in the middle. Dude, that's pretty neat. Very unique. I, <laughs> I don't know about it. I, what, I, what I think about the part sticking up out of the top there. I mean, it's different. I'll give it that. Very flimsy. I would like just a slightly thicker box for the price. So we have a little enamel pin. That's a nifty if you're into pins. We got a Activision style iron-on patch. Oh, that's pretty neat. I actually recently had, well not recently, about a year or so ago, had a bunch of LGR iron-on patches made. And uh, it was a fascinating process getting to design these things, coming up with something that would make sense in the form factor and the size and the stitching. I don't know, it was more involved than I thought. So, patches are cool. And here, I guess, is the instructions, such as they are. Not much. It's an Atari 2600 game. It can't be uh, too much going on, right? Oh, here we go. I, I, I am very much digging the, uh, the aesthetic feeling of this. It very much reminds me of the classics. Certificate of Authenticity. And a little poster. 11 by 17 inch, I think is what it said. Yeah, look at that. I mostly want to check out the game itself running on an original Atari 2600, which I have in uh, just the other room behind me. So uh, actually I've got the joystick for it over here because I had it out for something else. Yeah, got one of these modern ones, I think from Hyperkin or something. Bought it a while back because uh, yeah, I thought it looked neat with the color scheme and a lot of mine were pretty well beat up. So <laughs> it's nice to have a new one. I could plug into my original Atari's. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and check this thing out. In progress retro room, we've moved on over to that and I got the Atari 2600 here. Uh, let's see, I had a demon attack going previously. And yeah, Zenith Space Command, just got it plugged into that. So let's get going with Aqua Venture. Um, <laughs> it doesn't want to go in there. There it is. Huh. Something iffy with the... Oh. Yeah, something iffy with the little door that moves to expose the cartridge slot and get it in there. But anyway, would you look at that. That is, uh, is quite the thing. Yeah, glowing cartridge. That's definitely a first. <laughs> That's kind of neat. You can't really see anything except LEDs uh, blaring directly into my eyeballs because of the angle. Yeah, from where I'm sitting, that's all I see, <laughs> just LEDs. You kind of have to get all the way down there to really see it from the floor to be able to actually read it. But uh, you know, let's actually try this sucker out. Reset. Ooh, what am I? What am I? Oh, okay, you have to press fire to start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My little turtle is getting close to the air over there, so... I don't know if that means I'm going to die soon. And I died. Okay, so something's going on with the turtle going over to the air. Okay. Perhaps I should read the manual. Dive down to get buried chests. Lie on the sandy bottom. There's chests down there. Hmm. Oh, oh! <laughs> what the? Okay, that makes... A whole lot more sense. So there's treasure. That makes sense. Okay, okay, I like this a lot better now. I was gonna say, it seems a little simplistic. I've got a mermaid there, what do I do with this? Oh, all right, yeah, I was gonna say this seemed a little too simplistic even. Like, I know it was a prototype or whatever. Uh, yeah, you don't just shoot the fish. <laughs> so that's cool. You just go and Dive deeper and deeper. I assume it just keeps on going down. It almost reminds me of some of the like the diving in uh, the game Fathom, I believe is what it's called. 
yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of a sea quest. Do I need to touch the mermaid? I guess I do. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, I don't dislike this at all. It's kind of cool. It's a mixture of a, a couple of my favorites and not exactly favorites. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah, that's spiky sides to the walls. I always like when uh, Atari games do that. Like the whoops! Noise generation or whatever it is that makes us spiky walls. I like spiky walls. I'm assuming there's some kind of a mechanic too in terms of like shooting the fish or like leaving a certain number of fish on each screen as you leave the screen. I don't know if that like counts against you or something. They they explode whenever you leave the uh, whenever you leave the screen. Yeah, like that. Dude. Good times. Ah! When the uh, the blue screen goes with the, <laughs> the blue background with a blue person, it's a little hard to see what's going on. All right, well, that is AquaVenture from Atari's Corporate Corpse. I'm intrigued that uh, they released this at all in partnership with whoever. Um, look, I, I wanna say it was limited run, but could be wrong there. Anyway, uh, yeah, the cartridge itself is extremely gimmicky and it's kind of cool to see it light up, but honestly, it's just distracting. And it's, like I said, it's kind of just the angle that I was sitting at, but it'd almost be cooler if it like was just flat on top as a normal cartridge would be, but just the letters faced that way. Or even with like Demon Attack, which has a, a slanted front there. And so you can actually see <laughs> what the name of the game is. I don't know, whatever. It's cool that they did this at all. Like I, I see what the the idea was and it's pretty, pretty you know, like the, the painted or silk screened octopus looking nonsense. It's a pretty slick release. I would not pay $150 or whatever this cost. Um, so <laughs> thanks again to uh, Atari or whoever it was that actually, you know, the, the PR company that sent me this on behalf of Atari for sending this over. So we could take a look at it, especially since you can no longer buy these apparently. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this blurb.